So our officers were dispatched to the thousand block of Northwest Wall Street just after midnight, 12.01 a.m. this morning. And uh, they were responding to reports that a person had suffered a gunshot wound. Wall Street between Greenwood and Oregon Avenues and Oregon Avenue between Bond and Tumalo Streets were shut down for four hours while police investigated. When our officers arrived within minutes, um, they found a man on the ground with a single gunshot wound. Um, our officers rendered aid and um, the subject was transported to St. Charles Bend uh, where he died from his injuries. What police didn't find Wednesday night is the person who fired the shot. We have a suspect. Um, the suspect uh, in this shooting fled the scene and so our officers are currently working that. The shooting occurred around the corner from where Bend resident Barry Washington Jr. was shot and killed nearly two years ago. Police say there's no connection between the incidents but the shock for people working downtown feels similar. I couldn't even believe like something like this could happen in this small area here, which is kind of crazy because it seems like a really nice place to be. Police aren't characterizing the shooting as a homicide. They say those details are likely forthcoming as the investigation continues and they work with the district attorney's office to determine appropriate charges in the case. Downtown Bend is busy. There's a lot of people out and about, especially in the summer. Um, as, you know, often there are a lot of people who are out um, partying. They're, they're, um, you know, there's a lot of people and a lot of activity. Um, obviously, there's no connection between those two incidents. Um, it's an unfortunate situation to have two people die from gunshot wounds just around the corner from one another. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.